My name is Nicole Davis and I studied abroad at Boazici University in Istanbul, Turkey. I wanted to go to Chile because I had a lot of Spanish classes, but then I didn't have enough to qualify for the program and I was like, oh great, now what am I going to do? I don't speak a foreign language, like I can't go abroad. But then I kind of I started searching through all the programs and I found one in Turkey and they had this English speaking university. I was like, okay, yeah, I could do that. Uh, another reason I chose Boazici is because it offered so many different kinds of classes. Uh, I was a biology major, so I was hoping to complete some of my bio requirements while I was abroad. And uh, I wanted to go for a year, so I knew I had to have, you know, at least a couple of bio classes. And since Boazici is an exchange, it offered all kinds of different classes in lots of different departments. So they had your standard like humanities and social science, international relations stuff, but they also had engineering and they had bio classes and physics and chemistry. So I got to fulfill some of my requirements. Yeah, I took two Turkish classes while I was there, one each semester, and I was really, really glad that I did. Going to the grocery store, you needed to be able to count, you needed to be able to say, you know, I want some tomatoes. So it's helpful for that reason, but I also ended up just really liking it and found that it was a really good way to connect with my Turkish friends and the city. Boazici was really similar in setup, the university was, to UW-Madison. They started the university in the American style, so they have, you know, they have the standard. Uh, you go to lecture one to four times a week, you have homeworks, you have midterms and finals and readings. And uh, The academic transition was really not very difficult, which was really nice because there was other stuff that I had to transition to. You'll always have contact with IAP because they'll email you, especially if something goes wrong. Like once there was an earthquake over there and my study abroad advisor actually contacted me before my mom did. It'd be really hard to go to Istanbul for just a couple weeks, I think, because you could seriously stay in that city for years and not see everything. I mean, aside from sites, there's all these cultural events like concerts and festivals and you can go shopping, you can go running down by the Bosphorus. There's just so much going on. My favorite thing was something called Chi Kofte, which is this weird paste that used to be made out of raw meat, and then they would cook it with spices and pepper and stuff. But now it's just this, it's like a bulgur wheat grain that's been mashed into a paste, and you add lemon, you add pepper, and you add all kinds of stuff and then you squirt lemon juice and sour pomegranate sauce on top and then eat it in lettuce. It's so good. My friends and I were completely obsessed. I think people often overlook it because it's in, it's in sort of a weird category. It's not quite Europe, but it's not really the Middle East either. It's, it's kind of got its own identity. There were a lot of students there, but there were also a lot of young career people or students that would go there to find internships or jobs. And especially for native English speakers, Istanbul is a really, really great city to go and, and get started on your career.